Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mick from the Late Night Babe Show and we're back to do another review. Uh, so this one is another concentrate review. And uh, it's the second one I've done in the, um, the Drip Axe concentrates that I've bought. Uh, the first one was a strawberry lemonidas. This one is the, the drumsticks flavor. Now, we're, they were doing a thing on Mixing with Benny and Friends last week about 80s flavors. And I thought at the time, I thought, well, this one would be probably suitable for that sort of early 70s, 80s, that type of thing. And um, so I looked into it and Morris uh, Matlow and um, his brother Alfred started the company in 1938, obviously Matlow Brothers, and um, they released the Drumsticks Lolly in 1957. <laughs> so it's been around a lot longer than what I have. So. Anyway, it's at the time of the release, it, it was the only chewy lolly available. Uh, and the flavours were raspberry and, um, and like a, a milky flavour. And that's what they've got going. Drip Axe have sort of done that uh, in, in this drumsticks e liquid. Obviously, e liquids are for adults, but adults sometimes like to taste uh, sweets from back in the day. So um, I've had it. I've been mixing this one again um, in three milligram. As I'm sort of new to mixing, I'd, I'd mix single flavors with uh, with the normal concentrates that you buy. And I fancy something a little bit, you know, a little bit easy to mix while I'm getting used to mixing. So I bought I bought these. These are one shots. Um, so I mixed that one up at three milligram and uh, seventy thirty, and I was enjoying that. And then I got myself some 72% mix, so I was able to make mouth to lung. So I have uh, mixed the other one at 50 50. Now, the uh, three milligram ones mixed at 15% of the concentrate, and I found that the mouth to lung one, with it only being vaped at a low wattage, wasn't really strong enough at that, so I've mixed that at 20. Uh, and they basically got it bang on. Now, I've been vaping on it for a few days, and now at this time I'm in the um, I was using the, the Q kit with the uh, engine mouth to lung. I'll tell you, this time I've got the Berserker on the Cubex. Now I've been sort of saying that I didn't rate the Cubex. Well, I found a, a perfect time for it now. I actually managed to wick the Berserker. I bought it uh, quite a while ago. Didn't really know how to wick RTAs, we bought my airflow RTAs, so it got left in the cupboard, but I got it going sort of within the last week or so and I'm really enjoying it. It's a really good flavour. Now when when you vape this you get the um, on the inhale and at the back of your throat uh, you get the the raspberry comes out first and basically on the exhale that's when it sort of fills your mouth with the the milky flavour. Now the raspberry is fairly a fairly subtle flavour, but I seem to remember that when you were eating the lollies, that was fairly subtle as well when you you know when you went them. So it is it is sort of fairly true to form, um, and you know nice blast from the past. And you obviously with it being a sort of fruity flavour, it's not an every every dessert or anything like that. Probably a decent all day vape. So that's it for another one. This was just a little quick one because obviously it's drumsticks lolly. Everybody or most people will know what a drum drumstick lolly tastes like. Good thing is, it doesn't end up on your hips and uh, and you can vape that instead of trying to chew one with um, uh, more senior people's uh, expensive dental work, shall we say. I can't imagine anything worse now and end up with no bloody feelings around. So there we are, that's that's the end of that one. Thanks very much for, uh, for popping in and having a look and hopefully we'll catch you this way soon.